The New York Jets are solidifying the offensive line for Sam Donald. They are taking Makai Becton out of Louisville. He is a specimen, Brady. Uh, he's a massive human being, and he moves well for his size. When you look at his body composition, too, he carries the weight well. Uh, he's got a ton of upside. I had one offensive line coach tell me he potentially thinks he could eventually be in the likes of a, a Jonathan Ogden, which is saying a bunch, maybe one of the best to ever do it. The bottom line is the Jets feel like they need to solidify their offensive line. Sam Darnold has been basically running for his life since he's been a New York Jet. So this is a good thing. And look, they signed George Fan in the offseason. Uh, you know, that was probably going to be a one-year deal and kind of see how things go. Beckton, to me, is going to be the staple there, the cornerstone on, the, on this offensive line for many years to come. Pete Prisco's worst grade so far is a B-minus. That went to the Arizona Cardinals for taking Isaiah Simmons, number eight overall. What's the grade for Beckton to the Jets? This is a B, and here, here's the thing on Becton, and Brady nailed it. I mean, the kid is a freak athletically, but when you talk to some personnel guys and GMs, there's concern there, and one of them being the positive test at the Combine, and uh, reportedly, and when you talk to them about that, they say, look, it's not the test that he failed, it's when he failed it, because you know the test is coming, so you weren't aware of that, and that's a concern. Uh, he has a tendency to get really heavy, uh, that's really a concern, he's 365, I think he's heavier than that, he's been heavier than that, so he's gotta keep that weight in check, but boy, those feet and that athletic ability, if he can keep his weight in check and be dedicated to the craft, I think Brady, you know that Ogden comparison, I don't know if he plays like that, but that's high praise, he's gonna be a good football player. Scott Pioli, what do you think about that comparison to Jonathan Ogden for Makai Becton, who goes number 11 overall to the Jets. Yeah, I was actually with the Baltimore Ravens when we drafted Jonathan Ogden in 1996, and with all due respect, I'm not ready to come close to comparing Becton to Jonathan Ogden. Jonathan Ogden was a rare, not only physical specimen, but intelligent as any player that I was ever around, and that's no disrespect to Becton, but there's no way to put him in that class, in my opinion. And, you know, Becton, watching him, he's an enormous player with tremendous size, incredible power, but there are some flaws that I see in his game. There's time where you will see him, if you put together a highlight tape on him, you'll see him absolutely dominate guys, launch guys, but he's going into a grown man's league right now, and he's going to be going against grown men. He won't be able to toss people as frequently as he did. The other part is, when I saw him not tossing people, he was very, very quick to stop his feet and watch the rest of the play go around him. Again, he has dominant physical tools and ability. It's the consistency that I worry about. It's some of the lazy footwork that I see, and he needs to improve and become a much more consistent football player and play every single down. Again, if you put together a tape, it's going to look terrific, him throwing players around or players bouncing off of him, but when it comes down to play to play, he's going to have to play between 60 and 70 snaps, and he's going to need to be more consistent against grown men. The one good thing about this is 21 years old. Hmm. He, I mean, he is young. He still has so much more to grow and improve. And so, again, there's a lot of upside with this young man. And, and no one's saying he's Jonathan Ogden now, mm -hmm. but we're saying he kind of has that frame and maybe some of the ability that you do see in the highlight tape that Scott's talking about where maybe he can get to that point at some point. It's first time the Jets have selected an offensive tackle in the first round since DeBrickashaw Ferguson, who was taken fourth overall back in UVA. 2006. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.